hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is dami and if you're new you're most definitely welcome i'm a youtuber based in london ontario canada i share lifestyle videos as well as immigration videos just like this one that i'm posting today and from the title of this video you already know what i'm going to be talking about a lot of students are still struggling with getting jobs or they're applying for jobs that and they're not getting feedbacks or they're not getting callbacks from their employers or from the places that they apply to. So I'll be sharing some of the jobs that I did when I was a student in Canada, how much I was paid for those jobs, how I was able to survive with those pay, uh, considering the fact that at that point in time, the cost of living was a bit lower than what it is right now. And I would also be sharing with you guys some of the jobs that you may want to consider as an international student um, living in Canada. So I'll be starting off with the job that I did when I was an international student in this country. And the first job that I did, that I, I got this job three months after I got to Canada. It was a personal support worker job. I was paid about $18 to about $19-ish. I think my, my starting pay was about $18.13. And eventually I was paid about $19 before I left that place. So yeah, you, can, you may want to consider that one. And my second job in Canada was at Dollarama. It is a dollar store here in Canada. And at that point, things were still a bit easier. So what I did was just to take my resume into, dollar, into the dollar store. I gave it to the store manager and she interviewed me, I think the next day. And um, after some time, she called me to let me know that I could start working at any point in time and at that point i think i was training to be an assistant store manager so my pay was a bit higher than every other person within the comp within the store so they started me with fifteen dollar and fifty fifty fifteen dollar and fifty cents and at that point the minimum wage in ontario was fourteen dollar and fifty cents so it was a dollar higher than the minimum wage every other person in the store cashier and every other regular store assistant were earning fourteen dollar fifty but because um i told them that i had experience obviously from nigeria uh and i could do more than I also had like business, I was studying business management at the time and I just sold myself well during the interview. So she said the store, the assistant store manager was going to be leaving to another store very soon and she was going to be training me to be an assistant store manager. So they gave me the role and I started off with $15.50, which wasn't it wasn't bad because it was my second job I was doing that job alongside my personal support worker job so this was after school so this third job that I did in Canada as a student or at this point I had just finished school was a customer support or customer and sales support role so I was a I was picking calls I was receiving calls and I was working I think four times a week I think and this was a full-time role. The starting pay for this role was $17.50. I think, I really can't remember, but it was about $17. And um, at the point where I was leaving that role, um, they, had in, they had promoted me actually from just a um, sales support worker to a loyalty support worker. So at that, at that point, what I was doing was to um, undo bigger accounts and undo more uh, I don't know how to explain it but it was they promoted me and at that I think before I left that job I was already earning about $18.50 I can't really remember but the good thing was that at the point when I was working there they increased the minimum wage so it was just normal for them to promote to increase every other person's pay as well so that was what happened <laughs> I think I was on that job for about six months and um, shortly after um, I took a an admin assistant role I did that one for just three weeks because um, I got the job that I'm currently doing right now so I did that role for three weeks and they were paying me $18 and I felt like it was a bit too small because the job I was doing previously was already paying me about the same thing so I wasn't going to stay there for too long the reason I took the job actually was because it's counted towards the NOCB roles. So if you're if you don't know what the NOCB roles are, it they are jobs that qualify you that count towards your um, permanent residency in Canada. So that was why I took the role, and they were paying me eighteen dollar. I think eighteen dollar and fifteen. I can't really remember, but it was about eighteen dollar they were paying me at the point. 
So, <laughs> those are the jobs that I did as an international student and shortly after school, those were the jobs that I did so far in Canada up until the point that I took the role that I'm currently doing right now. I'm going to be moving to the other part of this video which is um, telling you guys some of the jobs that you may want to apply for as an international student or some of the roles that you may, you may want to consider if you're an international student because you may only be able to work part-time or you may only be able to work a few amount of hours every week so the first thing which is the i think it would probably be one of the easiest jobs that you could probably do would be working working on campus so there are several um people i know people that worked on campus when we were in school um you could work as a library assistant on campus you could uh, work in a in a restaurant on campus and for the people working in school or on campus they were allowed to work more than 20 hours they were allowed to work full-time roles because i don't know i think they just felt like people could focus on school while they are working in school but that was it at the point another role that you may want to consider that you you may want to apply for as an international student is customer support roles i know it may be draining sometimes having to talk all day on the phone i did it and i know it is very very draining so you may want to apply for customer support roles so it's like customer care assistance so to speak and the pay is not that great i would say for the jobs that for the things that you do because you are you are speaking on the phone all day i know most customer support roles pay between minimum wage to about 22 dollar an hour i don't quote me for it uh, but i think that's about the pay for that role um another very popular um, job international international students do in canada is store associate or store assistant so if you go to walmart if you go to um, grocery stores you will see people working there um, filling the shelves or um, working as cashiers those people are store associates so um, that's very very common most of the people that work in those places are usually international students so it's very common it's very popular amongst international students i know that most of those roles you have to apply on the company website so you can and they also sometimes do um, career day where people where they will tell people to bring their resumes especially international students to bring their resumes and speak directly with a store manager so you can also do that you can look online to see when there is a um, career day in any of those stores i think walmart is one of the most popular ones costco also does career days sometimes so you may also want to look at those websites those usually pay store associates anything from minimum wage to about 19 dollars an hour currently the minimum wage in ontario is 16 dollars and 55 cents and they pay between that $16.55 and 55 cents to about $19 an hour. I think Costco is one of the grocery stores that pay reasonably well. I think they pay reasonably well. As at the time when I was still in school, Costco was already paying students um, that work as store associates. I think they were already paying them $16.50 at that point and other stores were still paying $14.50 so it was about two dollar more so i think right now costco probably be paying about 18 dollar to 19 dollar to their store associates entry level another very very popular jobs that are available to international students in canada is care worker roles so care support is a very big big industry in canada um they are always recruiting they are always looking for people to join that industry the only downside to it is that you cannot just join uh you cannot just submit your resume you have to actually have certifications to back up um your experience um you need to have a bit of experience saying that you um you are you have experience either working with old people or working 
with children depending on the care work that you're planning on doing um, there are several care works or several care roles it may be um, supporting people with disability it may be supporting people um, um, it may be supporting elderly people supporting children uh, or supporting people with mental health it just depends so you have to have a certificate to back up um, your experience or you have to have a certificate for the specific role that you're planning on applying for so I would advise that if you're looking or you're considering to work as a support care support worker you may want to um, firstly maybe take the personal support worker um, certification you may also want to take the first aid CPR certification those are the um, two big ones and the two easy ones that you can quickly do and with that you can start applying to um, retirement home care homes you can start applying to care agencies that maybe be looking for um, people to join and for care homes I know that they pay they pay okay they pay okay they don't pay as good as you would assume but they pay okay they pay probably between $18 to about $25 based on your experience working as a caregiver um, some places even pay more than that but if you're working as a student part-time you may be they may pay you maybe between $18 to about $25 Another very popular role that you may want to consider is working as a teaching assistant on campus. You could work as a teaching assistant in your school that you're currently studying. You may work as a teaching assistant. You may apply to work as a teaching assistant in other universities or colleges that are not even the ones that you're studying. So that is very big. Students that have interest in roles like that, they usually um, just apply and they usually succeed in roles like that. Um, they pay pretty well so you could be paid anything from $22 an hour to about $35 an hour as a teaching assistant so those are some of the roles that you may want to look at if you're not already considering those roles or considering those um, industries so I know that those ones are constantly hiring they are constantly looking for people to join and if you're still looking for a role or still looking for um, a job as an international student and you're not already looking at these um, things that I already mentioned you may want to consider that you may want to start doing your own research you may want to go on Google on Indeed or um, just different job boards in um, LinkedIn as well just to see if you can um, get any of these roles at this time so that's what I have for this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a like um, also don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.